Hey guys, Benzo here. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be patrolling around Davis and Metro Los Santos area. This is one of my favorite areas to patrol, mainly because of the city atmosphere, the different kinds of people that you run into. I have an action-packed episode for you today, guys. We have police impersonators, store robberies with helicopters, suicidal car bomber, and a live police radio scanner. You're not going to want to miss today's episode. This is LSPD Fire. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started out here, guys. I'm really about to say I really love the Broadcastify. It just adds a lot more immersion to my videos and whatnot, and I think you guys like it as well. Be sure to smash the like button if you like a, a live place radio, and if you like LSPD Fire, keep the LSPD Fire alive. Okay, now this particular vehicle pack, we've used it in the past, is by Trey Baitmate, and we use this in a really old episode from LSPD Fire 0.4 First Look. And it's been a long time since I used this, and I've had a lot of people requesting this particular vehicle pack lately. And I must say the livery is just really nice, not overly obtrusive. And I'm loving the traffic advisors in the back, really nice. And I must say, I used to be a red and blue kind of guy, and I really am starting to get more partial to the blues. We always have red and blue out here in Texas, and I'm really loving the blues. That is stage two, and that is full stage three. Check that bad boy out. Super sexy, man. He did a good job. Let me show the inside real fast. Hands are on the wheel. Perfectly lit computer. Cool partition. Yeah, I'm going to be sure to link this down for you guys. And a big special shout out to all the guys and gals that have been visiting me over there on Twitch. I really do appreciate you guys. We've been having a freaking blast. You had me cracking up with all the damn sound files, guys. Scaring the shit out of me. Making me laugh. Uh, if you have not visited me over on Twitch, make sure you do that. That is twitch.tv slash benzo effect. There's a link on the screen right there. Be sure to follow me over there, guys. Follow, it's free, man. Hang out with me over there. We go live at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I love all the people that show up. You guys are freaking amazing. Let's go ahead and get started with dispatch. Sam 81. Dispatch, show me 1041 to Nate, please. Let's go. Okay, we have super callouts reinstalled. It's been a long time since we used that particular callout pack. It's an amazing callout pack. It is by Super Pyromaniac. Oh, there we go. Officer impersonator. Dispatch responding code two over there. Okay, let's head over there and then we'll see what's up. They got a police impersonator down here that's got someone pulled over. And I think he's going to be a little further down the road. All right, let's go ahead and cut through the lights. I uh, see him right there, guys. Look, he's got someone pulled over. This about show me 23, Innocence Boulevard, and Elgin Avenue. Roger, Sam, Approach with caution. Oh, I see you, bud. He had that person pulled over. What is he doing? Is he going to run? Is he going to run? Uh, he's running, guys. Yeah, he's running. Okay. This bat show me in pursuit. It's going to be a white patrol vehicle. It's going to be a BMA. He's got a, a gray shirt heading uh, South Carolina's Boulevard. Stop, man. This bat's requesting code 3 backup. Stop. Hey. Stop right there, man. Dispatch, he's still heading uh, westbound Alta Street. I'm going to tackle you, man. Stop. Okay. Got him. Stop right there, man. Get your hands up. Hey. Get your hands up, man. Get on your knees. Right there. All the way down on your knees. Do not move. Dispatch be advised, we got suspect at gunpoint, uh, West Alger Street, SR19, 1958. Alright, do not move, okay? Alright, we got him. 
Dispatch be advised, we got 113. It's going to be a May. It's going to be a gray sweatshirt and uh, kind of tan color shorts. All right, what is your deal, man? All right, let me question him real fast. I think I can ask him a few questions here. So what are you doing out here? Because I need to answer that. All right, anything legal on you? Because I don't want to go to jail. All right, try on me patch down. Nothing's gonna poke me, stick me, harm me anyway. So I got my siren going. He has a kid's plastic police badge and a loaded pistol. Interesting. Here, come with me. Okay, we're gonna get back over to the vehicle. Uh, we get a female officer that's got her Dodge Charger back there in the intersection. And yeah, let's get back over to that patrol vehicle because I need to search it. Okay, we're falling back here. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Alright, bud. In the back seat. I'll shut off the siren here in a sec. Okay, so he had a, uh, like a fake pistol and a kid's plastic, plastic police badge. Uh, let's go, go through the car real fast. Uh, let me see, I think I can do a 28 on this. Dispatch requesting a 28. It's going to be on a patrol style vehicle, 65 King George William 913. Okay, the, uh, the owner is Aaron Doc. Let's go ahead and search this car. Okay, the police radio scanner. Oh, this guy thinks he's a cop, huh? Listen to a police radio scanner and uh, pulling someone over. As I play a video game, listening to a police scanner, pulling someone over in a video. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? Okay, um, I guess we'll go ahead and just impound it. Dispatch requesting a 51 for a patrol style vehicle out here, Innocence Boulevard, Carson Avenue, 2128. Hey there, officer. Karen. <laughs> Uh, you know, let's go ahead and do a flatbed because uh, we're going to have to take this in for investigation. <laughs> That's too funny. As I play a video game listening to a police scammer, scanner playing as a fake cop. <laughs> hey guys, stop laughing at me, okay? It's not, it's not funny, okay? I don't care who you are, that's not funny. Okay, let's let her go. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your help. <laughs> Okay, it's starting to get a little dark out here. Uh, we'll do some charges against this guy real fast. Oh, you know what? Let's do... Um, we'll just put some tribe advisories, right? It's kind of cool like that. Not that we really need them, but... Oh, he's got a rest warrant, too. Possession of fentanyl. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Uh, they added some more things to CompuLite, too. You can arrow over, which is kind of cool. All right, let's do this arrest report real fast. I'll be sure to edit a little bit. Okay, nonviolent crime, impersonating a police officer. We're going to go ahead and hit him with that right there. And then we're also going to charge him with a few other things there. Okay, we're going to do resisting arrest. It was pretty nonviolent. I mean, he was running, obviously. And then he also had, uh, he's got a warrant for fentanyl possession as well. Okay, there is a warrant for his arrest right there. A lot of people get confused with that. The way CompuLite works, guys, is that if a, if a suspect has an arrest warrant, uh, that could be, like, for example, they may find that after the fact, after they've already arrested someone and put a warrant out for their arrest. So the charging law enforcement officer can actually put that in the charges. So hopefully that makes sense. I talked to a lot of law enforcement officers, and that is what they do. Okay, we're going to go ahead and have him picked up here. Dispatch requesting PT, my area, Innocence Boulevard, 2249, please. Address, uh, okay, we do have a PT coming, prisoner transport. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, allow them to pick him up, and then we are going to head back out on patrol. Let's see, where are they at? I think they're coming back over there behind me there. Somewhere over there. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're coming over here. That's what she said! Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Sorry, chat. That had to be done. What is she park? What are you down there for? <laughs> she wants to run. Alright. Thank you, ma'am. I love how they insult and watch this. Asshole. <laughs> you gotta love LSPD far right. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. Uh, code 4 to Nate. Dispatch, show me code 4 back to Nate, please. Okay, let's get through here and then uh, we will take another call if we need to. I really do appreciate you watching this long. I really do, guys. Yeah, robbery. Dispatch responding code 3. Okay, they got a robbery in progress. We got about 50, sec 50 seconds to get over there. Let's go, guys. This is a uh, Carson SA siren. Dispatch, show me on scene how we're going to be Lindsay Circus. Sam, right there. Dispatch requesting code 3 back up. They got a gun, they got a gun. Assistance needed on Lindsay Circus. Oh, there they go, right there. Roger, dispatch, they are not in the Dispatch, we advise you got two WMAs heading northbound Ginger Street. Stop! Stop! Right there. He's he's not wanting to surrender. Dispatch requesting code three back up. Stop! You're gonna get tased. Fuck this! We're gonna tase his ass. Get on your face, man. Yeah, there's another one. I don't know where he went though. Dispatch requesting air unit, my location, Vasuchi Boulevard, Decker Street. Dispatch air unit over Little Soul. Do not move. Okay, we're gonna see if maybe the air support can pick up the other guy. Hey, get your ass back down there, man. Okay, we got one. I thought there was two of them. I don't know if they were going to be able to get the other guy. Probably not by now. Damn it. One got away. Alright, man. Hey, anything illegal on you? One of them had a gun, I know for sure. Because I saw him. There was two of them. Baggy of brown powder, clown mask. Okay, here, come with me. Let's go back this way. Hey, officer, can you get with that back, please, for evidence? Okay, so there was at least two of them in there. I think we lost one of them, which kind of sucks, you know. Okay, we are back here at the store, and we've already patted him down. He has some type of brown powder and a clown mask. Hi, how's it going? Okay, so we got this guy here, and he's just cowering behind the counter there. All right, so we're here to investigate a uh, store robbery. Okay, can I look at your uh, your footage on the inside there? Okay, okay, I'm gonna go look. Okay, let's see if we can see anything on the uh, CCTV footage here. Okay, yeah, clearly there is two people in there you can you can see for yourself. Okay, we're gonna have to put a bolo out for the other guy. Yep, okay. Yeah, they definitely had at least one of them had a weapon for sure. All right. Okay, sir. All right, you can hey you can stand up, man. Back over there. Alright, you want to follow me back over here? 
the other officer can get you a statement back over here. Okay, now this other guy is just kind of cowering back here. I think he's still scared. Hey, it's okay. It's a gray Nissan Rogue. Hey, can I get your ID? Hey, dark blue. Thank you. Dispatch requesting 27 for Edward Miles, 72284. Okay, no outstanding warrants. It's all good. All right, bud. Okay, so let me uh, let me get his ID as well. Can I get your ID? Dispatch requesting 27 for a Lucas Diaz, 81373. All right, bud. Make sure you get your license fixed, okay? Hopefully you're not driving right now. Okay, just uh, take statements from the other officers, and then we'll see if we can locate the other guy. Thanks. Insurance information for the driver of the Pontiac in the room. Go ahead with one. All right, and uh, you saw what happened as well. Okay, can I get your ID? Okay, Frankie Simpson. Dispatch requesting a 27 for a Frankie Simpson, 10 to 94. Okay, he's good. All right, bud, just stand and by. All right, we'll uh, charge this guy with armed robbery is what we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to put him in the back of our seat. I'll let the other officers take him. We'll look at the court cases at the end. And uh, we'll do some charges real fast. I'll just pull up my CAD system right here. I'll grab my CAD system here real fast. Okay, let's see. All right, so this guy is going to be... Uh, I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, Dean... Hunter, that's his name right there, Dean Hunter. He's got a warrant for his arrest anyway for brandishing a farm. He's about to get another charge for that as well. And then store robbery. Okay, violent crimes, we're going to do armed robbery. And then we're also going to do uh, resisting arrest. And then now uh, we need to also charge for brandishing a firearm as well. Okay, it's right here, brandishing a firearm. Brothers. Right there. Okay. Hey, officer, can you take him, please? I appreciate it. I love how some of these officers respond with mask on. All right, we're going to clear out of here, and then uh, we'll do some more paperwork, and we'll continue with today's patrol. Let's go. Uh, we'll we'll this? We have an 11351 in Little Soul. Suspicious vehicle. Dispatch responding code 2. Okay, they got a suspicious vehicle. I think it may be on the freeway, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and head on this way. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I am a road driver. <laughs> In a video game. <laughs> God, this is strange. They got a suspicious vehicle. Oh, it's parked. What is he doing? Shooting radar or something? Another, another police impersonator or something? Oh, oh my gosh. He just blew himself up. What the hell? Dispatch requesting fire, San Andreas Avenue, Interstate 5. Whoa. That scared the shit out of me. Dispatch be advised, uh, we've got a car explosion out of here, Interstate 5, San Andreas Avenue. Oh, we got someone down right there. Dispatch requesting code 3 backup. Interstate 5, San Andreas Avenue. Okay, okay, let me see if I can drag him. Okay, the fire just went out. Let me drag him away. Dispatch requesting EMS, Interstate 5, Interstate 4. We got a car explosion. It's going to be a WMA down. 
from a car explosion. Okay, I'll need to tend to him a little bit. We do have uh, ambulance coming. Hey, bud. Okay, this car just exploded right here behind me. He yelled something. I couldn't quite make out what it was. But it may have been a self-inflicted car explosion. Like maybe a suicide bomber or something. I don't know. Okay, it looks like the car is out now. Uh, you know what? Let me grab a fire extinguisher real fast. Oh, man, this police radio is awesome, guys. Okay, they're going to work on him. I'm going to grab the fire extinguisher real fast. Maybe I can still search this car. I'm not sure if I can or not. Units reference the panic alarm at 727. I wish the uh, fire department would have done something here. Okay, let me uh, look through the car and see if I can now. Looks like it's okay. Okay, not much there. Okay, looks like it's going to be, he's going to be dead, I think. Dispatch requesting a CSI. Interstate 5, San Andreas Avenue. Okay, we do have a corner wagon coming. It's my multi county corner wagon. It's pretty nice. Wish they would show without sirens. So I could probably fix that. It's new corner models. And the second one is going to be for a Hyundai Sonata. Uh, YAW1. Okay, they're going to hopefully take some pictures and whatnot. I don't know if they're going to or not. Probably not. Sometimes they do take pictures. Alright, they're going to take him away. All this stuff happens so fast, you know. I probably could have done like a ped search for him, figure out who he is, you know. So we can notify his next of kin. Alright, bud. Well, good luck in your afterlife. Dispatch requesting a 51, my location. Uh, it's going to be Interstate 5. It's going to be a burned out vehicle out here. Make it a flatbed. Okay, officer, thank you for coming out. You can go get your car since you're blocking the entire uh, southbound lanes. <laughs> Oh, that was just nuts. That is from Super Callouts, guys. Okay, we're going to look at the court cases real fast. I know some of you guys like to see that. We're going to go do the bonus clip here at the end. Uh, this is for Dean Hunter. Uh, the guy that did uh, resisting arrest, armed robbery, brandishing a firearm. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and look at that. He got seven years, six months in prison right there. Lee Chow, he was the one that is the police impersonator. Possession of fentanyl is also he had a, a warrant for that. I'm going to go ahead and say at least four years. Three years. Nice. I got pretty close. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and end our episode right here. I want to give a special shout out to the members of the Benzo Effect channel and also the Patreons. I really do appreciate you guys' help on Patreon. If you'd like to join the Patreon and have your name plastered at the end of every video, make sure you join my Patreon account. You'll see there also in the description. And you can also get your name on the end credits of every video. I really appreciate it, guys. We're going to go ahead and head on out of here. And you have a great day. We'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe.